1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So everybody knows that message is stored in the Kafka topic and will be removed from this topic by Kafka. You can set whatever retention policy and uh, Kafka will do the thing. But sometimes it is very useful to know how many messages currently there. In this video, I'll show you how we can quickly calculate number of messages in the Kafka topic. My name is Viktor Gamov and welcome to Streaming Things. All right, so I do have a topic where my system is generating some of the orders. Uh, new orders come into the system and I would like to know how many orders are there from beginning of these times. I can go here in UI and check uh, whatever uh, messages are flowing in. I see the messages, I see different offsets. Now I would like to do know how many messages I have in total. And for this use case, I will be using key SQL DB and uh, show you how you calculate number of messages in topic. In order to start working with this topic, I need to create a stream out of it. So my messages in uh, Kafka topic stored in the protobuf format, and I always can learn about the schema. So I'm going there in the topic view and I can see the schema represents a protobuf. So same information, KSQL DB can use in order to infer the schema. I don't need to put all these fields there, so I just need to do create stream orders with Kafka topic equals orders value format equals protobuf. Based on this information, my SQL DB will be able to introspect the topic information and uh, pick up the schema and create a stream. So run this. Stream was successfully created. Now, when I have the stream, now I can use all these functions that are available in uh, SQL DB. One of the functions that I can find uh, very useful for this particular use case, it's a function called count. Select count. Next thing is that we need to create a dummy field in order to um, please KSQL DB syntax. I will show you where we can learn more about this and how does it work. From orders, now group by X and emit changes, limit one. So in this particular case, I will have a query that will calculate each message and gives me a result. Also important thing, I need to reset offset to earliest in order this query will calculate all the messages from the beginning of the topic. While this was running, because this topic might have uh, some substantial number, and also I am sending this query from my computer into space, into cloud, and it will do something in the cloud. Meanwhile, I would like to show you where I can learn about this more. There is a open uh, ticket in uh, GCL DB GitHub where I can learn a little bit more about this uh, syntax uh, work. So if I try to use this kind of functions without a group by, it will throw me an error. So that's why uh, as a workaround, I need to add some dummy field. If you very seasoned uh, SQL hacker, you probably know all these tricks. But if you first time look into this uh, key SQL DB syntax and uh, using the SQL for this particular use case, you might find yourself like very uncomfortable. So don't despair. There is a workaround like this and uh, you can learn more about this in this issue if you find this like a link in the comments below. So when I return here, I see result. So this is my count of messages that I have in this topic. And when I run this again, it will also execute this one more time. So it also will take some time because while I was running this query, my application also generate more and more messages. So we should see a different number next time. And you can say, Victor, but this is not super, not super useful because it takes a lot of time to get this very simple thing. So in order to get uh, this very simple thing faster, we need to materialize this result and uh, update these values in the background using Kate table. So in this particular case, I need to go here and say create, create table called orders 
count as select. I don't need to use limit here anymore. So, and let's uh, shuffle those things around in order to get the much nicer output. Uh, again, earliest, run query. My query was executed. Now, if I go here and I just do order count, query table, I don't need to do image changes because I need to get the result immediately. So where x equals x, again, this is a quirk of the SQL syntax. Run query and I get the result immediately. If I run this once again, the result will be immediately. Run this once again and it's still there. So and this number is growing. If you would like to use, learn a little bit more in this use case and also try to run this locally, we do have Kafka tutorial, as you know, kafka-tutorials.conflin.io that can talk about this particular case. So let me know in the comments if this was useful or what kind of techniques do you personally use when you need to calculate number of messages in the Kafka topic. Also write down in the comments if you would be interesting to see how the same task can be solved with technologies like a Kafka streams, for example. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you will not miss new videos. My name is Viktor Gamov and as always, have a nice day.